Yeah, I'm still doing this series. Uh, <laughs> hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my latest episode of Senior Project. The stand that I used to hold up my phone. Um, I got a new phone. And the stand is too heavy. So, we're just kind of giving it a lean and I hold on to it. 2017. The escape is 2. Kind of looks like 6, but no, that's a 2. Um, been a while. Since I've done one of these, you might be thinking, 2017, day 334, you're, 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 you're done, you're cooked, it's, it's over, but, uh, in fact, no, I've been playing the games, I've just been procrastinating, actually recording videos, uh, I'm currently working on the 2023 game, um, and we'll see if there's, if I'll do one for 2024, I haven't quite decided yet, oh, wait, hold up, crazy tech incoming. Okay, there we go. Now I'm holding it up with my foot. Uh, <laughs> this isn't the most secure, but now I can lean back and I can use both my hands. Um, escape is two. What are my thoughts on this game? Well, uh, I just this m will probably be like the most obscure game that I'm doing for this. Um, but it is, of course, the second game in a series. Uh, in a series made by Team Seventeen. Um, about escaping prisons. Uh, very good game. I would consider this my second favorite video game of all time. My first favorite video game of all time. We are, I am playing for this. Um, haven't really thought about it in a bit. Uh, I think I mentioned in the Minecraft video that I consider Minecraft to be number three. I might like Minecraft more than this. I haven't really considered it, but I consider it my second favorite because I considered it my first favorite until my new first favorite came out, and I'm sure that my first favorite is my first favorite. That was a lot of words, a lot of favorites, a lot of numbers, but game about escaping prisons. Uh, and what I really like about the game is the prisons have interesting concepts. The first one is Center Perks 2.0, which is a reference to uh, Center Perks from the original Escapist, where it's basically like a, a joke of a prison that's very like cushy, very... Um, there's, like, a lot of free time and stuff. Guards aren't very rough on people. Um, it's not really a tutorial prison. There is a tutorial prison. I think it's Precinct 17 uh, as a reference to Team 17, which made it. And, um, yeah, the tutorial prison, obviously, very easy. Center Perks 2.0, also quite easy. Uh, I did beat the game for this. I did all the prisons, except for one. Because this is my series. I don't have to play HMP Offshore. You can't make me. <laughs> HMP Offshore is like a, an oil rig, basically. Uh, but I just I just don't find it very fun. Just don't think it's very fun. I think the layout's confusing. Um, when the escapes you go swim away with dolphins, that's kind of creative. But like, I don't know. I just think it's kind of boring. Um, every... Um, Prison has a few different ways to escape. There's at least, some of them have more. Uh, perimeter breakout, which is cl just classic. Like, you go to the gate and you cut it and you're out of there. Um, single player exclusive breakout, where, like, somebody... You can only do it with one player, like, um... Uh, oh, no, that's a bad example. I didn't play that one. There's some DLC prisons, which I didn't play for this, because I want to play it as if it was the first time that I played them. And the first time I played this, I... DLC prisons weren't a thing. Um, I'm trying to think of one of the cool one-player prisons. There's the Dolphin Escape. There's, um, whatever, I'll just use one of the DLC. Big Top Breakout is one of the DLC ones, and it's like a circus, and they're like prisoner clowns. And uh, the single-player escape is you shoot yourself out of a cannon. Uh, and a multiplayer escape, which can only be done with two players. Uh, and I do these, do those a lot with my brother. Um... Like, uh, Center Perks 2.0, the multiplayer escape is you, uh, manage to mail yourself out in, like, a, a box. Just kind of fun. Uh, the single player escape for Center Perks 2.0 is, is like a camera crew filming a documentary and you disguise yourself as one of those and you can just walk straight out with them. Um, 
lot of the prisons have very interesting concepts. The first one is Center Perks 2.0. There's three uh, transport prisons in the game. The first is a train, then a boat, then a plane, where it's like, oh, you have a very limited time because you're being transported from one prison to another. But it's easier to escape the train prison than the full prison, so you can get out of there. Um, like, you can lure a horse with a fake carrot or use a grappling hook grab onto a tree, or for the plane one, you can make a parachute. Uh, and for the boat one, you can uh, make a fake gun and hijack a helicopter. Uh, that's a multiplayer escape, I think, because you can't, can't help, you need two people to operate a helicopter. I don't think that's actually true, but I guess they didn't have ideas for multiplayer escapes. Very fun game. I like playing it with my brother more than just by myself, but yeah. I'd rate it pretty highly. Combat system's pretty fun. I don't know. I don't really know how to the sprite. Sprite art, beautiful. Or pixel art, that's the word I was looking for. Pixel art, gorgeous pixel art. Like the the people and stuff look nice, but the actual prison pricks pixel art is usually very detailed and very nice. Um pretty nostalgic game for me, even though it did come out in 2017. Um Oh, I was 11, or I was 10 for most of 2017, so, yeah, I guess that's a pretty reasonable uh, age to feel nostalgic about. I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with all that being said, what is my game for 2018? This is a good one. 2018, I'll be playing Smash Ultimate. I'll probably record the video for that now, because I actually have motiva motivation to record these videos. Um... So if the next one says day three thirty four again, you know why. 